Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while. Um, loving this cap. Anyway, anyway, um, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but um, it's good to be back here. Um, I will soon get back to doing videos, I think. But um, yeah, man, just yeah, life's been a bit different these days. Um, but I really do want to get back to doing videos because it's something I really enjoyed. But um, I just wanted to. Just remind you guys, you know what? If you're in Christ, stay in Christ and continue to grow and persevere. Because uh, I believe what is happening in these last days is pretty much God's word coming to fulfillment. God's word manifesting right before our eyes. The prophecies are coming to fulfillment in these last days, man. And um, pretty much like... Uh, <sighs> There's been a great falling away in the church. Uh, many Christians have forsaken their faith. And um, it's going to be worse for them on Judgment Day. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what the Bible says. It's going to be worse for them on Judgment Day. And you know what? I'm just making this video just to encourage you guys to stay in Christ. Keep pushing on. Because he who endures till the end will be saved and um i've got two scriptures um first one is isaiah 5 uh, 20 to 21 which says what sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil that dark is light and light is dark that bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter we live in a society today where everything is pretty much the opposite of what God's word says. For example, abortions are now seen as a good thing. Pro-choice is a good thing. You see, New York right now is so backwards, you know, like um, it's illegal to give a prisoner the death sentence, but it's legal to kill a child, abort a baby. You know what I'm saying? And not only, they, they say now you can abort a baby terminate the pregnancy at any point in time in the pregnancy, e even if it's really close to the delivery time. When it's a fully big formed fetus ready to be delivered, you pretty much have a right to terminate that pregnancy. And they're saying it is a good thing. This is as the Bible says, what sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil. What sorrow for those who say, and that is the majority of the world right now, who are pro-choice about this thing. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, oh man, the Bible says uh, that this world is at enmity with God. And the Bible tells us as Christians, do not be conformed to the ways of this world, but be transformed in the renewing of your mind. And how can you renew your mind Give your life to Christ, commune with God, spend time with the Lord, read his word and get closer to him. Seek the Lord while he may be found in these last days, brothers and sisters. Seek him while he may be found, man. And it says, what sorrow for those who are wise in their own eyes and think themselves so clever. You see the Bible, it says in a... Isaiah 5 21 what sorrow for those who are wise in their own eyes and think themselves so clever you see you can only receive God's grace if you're humble because God gives grace to the humble but resists the proud people who are proud and think they know better than God think they know it all God is resisting them that is what the Bible says so humble yourself man every single one of you man because Jesus Christ is he is going to come back. No one knows the day or the hour, but as time progresses and sin becomes more rampant, as the Bible says in the last days, sin will be rampant, that the hearts of many will wax cold. And in these last days, many people will scoff at the truth of Jesus Christ because of this happening right now, today. Oh man, it's a scary time. It is a scary time. So pretty much we need Jesus Christ because as time is going by, we just see that his return is becoming more imminent. His return is becoming more imminent. And I just want to read you one more scripture, guys, to close this off. Um, All 
All right, so we go to Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter three, um, the beginning, and it says the danger of the last days. <clears throat> and it says from chapter three. You should know this, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times for people will only love themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, but reject the power to make them godly. Stay away from people like that. So from this, we can see a whole lot of things playing out. Many people these days are unloving and unforgiving. Many people slander others and have no self-control. Many people are cruel and hate what is good. Hate what is good. That means so many people hate the message, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many people hate God. Many people love their own pleasures more than they love God. Even some of those who profess Jesus Christ as Lord today love their own pleasures more than they love God. And they would rather live a life of sin than turn to God. Now, I'm not saying I'm a perfect person, yo. I'm not a perfect person, yo. I fall short of God's glory, which is why he gives us grace, the true believers. But do not use grace as an excuse to live a life of sin, willful sin willful sin against god because uh oh praise the lord the bible says in hebrews uh 10 26 just give me a second guys hebrews 10 26 in hebrews 10 26 the Bible says, dear friends, if we deliberately continue sinning after we have received the knowledge of truth, there is no longer any sacrifice that will cover these sins. So if you decide, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, the truth of the gospel, if you choose to suppress the truth and keep living a life of sin, deliberately continue into sin for the rest of your life. There will no longer be a sacrifice to cover your sins. You see, in the book of James, it says, uh, even the demons believe. Even the demons believe and they tremble. So just for you to say, I believe I have faith and, uh, and have your faith not produce any works in your life. That means your faith is dead. So guys... This is the word I wanted to give you. This isn't what I planned, but... <laughs> Yo, but yeah, I should be back soon. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. Peace, man. God bless all of you. Amen.